Okay, so we look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey at 21 by 9. Odyssey is essentially Origins 2.0. If you've played or seen any of it, you'll know all about that. But that's not a terrible thing. Origins was amazing, and it, by extension, allows Odyssey to feel fantastic as well. For the 21 by 9 support, because of the two games having such close DNA, you would expect essentially identical results. However, sadly, this actually falls behind on one key area, cutscenes. Whereas Origins had the occasional 16x9 with Blackbird cutscene, this is pretty much only such moments, regardless of the fact that they're all in-game moments. Now, I'm assuming this is resulting from the new branching conversations, but that doesn't give any valid reason for the visuals to be impacted. The great news is there is an easy fix. So, first find your game's EXE, it will vary slightly depending on whether you have the Steam or Uplay version, then open up the hex editing software, HXD, I'll link to the download in the description if you don't have it, and open up the game EXE in here. Now hit Ctrl R, and in the pop-up box select the hex tab and paste in the following hex string, you can copy it from the description down below. Then in the box below, input the hex string of your resolution, you need to choose the correct one depending on your resolution as each one requires a different string, again just copy the relevant hex string from the description of this video. Now make sure the search direction is an all, and then select replace all, this will now change a number of different hex values in the file. And that's it, close it all down and off you play. All in-game cutscenes will now be full screen. You probably we will need to do this every time the game updates. As for the rest of the game, gameplay correctly shows off more on the sides of the screen and there is a gorgeous FOV slider to increase your view, all without any stupid stretching on the sides of the screen. The main menu is technically ultra wide, but the image is 16x9, however as it fades so nicely to black on the sides, it works perfectly. Finally, in-game menus and loading screens are all ultra wide. Performance wise, at launch, this did not run great. It suffered heavily from FPS stuttering, and whilst this has not gone, it has improved a little. I'd expect it to be fully fixed soon. However, for the time being, the best way I've found to run it is to limit your FPS in the settings to 60. That way you lose the benefits of quiet moments that allow for your FPS to go far higher, but it stops the majority of stuttering as the FPS collapses in between moments. And no, G-Sync isn't able to smooth this out, sadly. Other than the FPS stuttering problem, the game doesn't run too badly. It's not as good as Origins is now, but obviously Origins has had a lot of patches, but because the game shares so much DNA with that game, I would have hoped we'd have avoided much of these teething issues. There are a lot of graphic settings to tweak that allow solid control of performance, and yes, the game is as gorgeous as ever, though it does feel to me that graphically it's not quite on the same level as Origins. It feels like the texture quality is a little lower than Origins, even on the highest settings, and I'm not sure why that would be. But yeah, it's still a ridiculously gorgeous game. One annoyance with graphic settings here is that many require a game restart, which, well, you know I hate that. Now, I have seen a few lighting issues with shadows loading in the distance, but like I said, a good few updates have been applied and many are certain to come. As for actually buying this game, well, that's where I feel it's quite easy. Don't buy this if you've only played Origins recently or simply didn't like Origins. It's so similar to that game, both visually and gameplay-wise, that while superb no doubt, feels too familiar for me to be able to play it seeing as I've played so much of Origins in recent months. I'm going to be holding off playing this properly for probably 6 months as I need the time to forget Origins first. That said, if you've played and finished Origins back in release and haven't played it since, then grab this. It's a brilliant game, and whilst technically there are a few hiccups, on the whole, you'll love it. The setting of ancient Greece is really interesting, and the new characters and branching conversations are welcome. This certainly also leans back onto naval gameplay like Black Flag, in a way Origins certainly didn't, but I don't hesitate to say that the naval aspect of this is a weak point. Without the booming cannon fire from the pirate ships, firing arrows and the like all feel a little muted. It's not boring, just Black Flag's naval element was better. I'm gonna give it a WAF score of 4, with the Sousa Hammett fix applied, it's pretty much perfect. So I hope that gives you some information on the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel at the WAF website. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page in the description. And Amazon affiliate links there too. See you later. <laughs>